Hi friends, I am Oksana Murtaza. You are watching me on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to talk about the Max Scholarship through Embassy Track. And especially in this video, I am going to discuss about the undergraduate students. Because, you know, for University Track, most of the Masters and PhD students, you can apply for the University Track as well as the Embassy Track. But here, I am going to tell you about for undergraduate program that and for those students who are looking for undergraduate program how you can apply it is there any chance for you to apply for university track or only you can apply for the embassy track and uh, if uh, if yes then what are the requirements see thing is that you know first of all those students who are looking for uh, undergraduate studies you can if you have if you are completed if you have completed uh, with 12 year whether you you completed with fa fsc or icom you can apply for undergraduate program whatever your education is if you are done with 12 year education you can apply for undergraduate program this is the first requirement and the second thing is that you know you can apply through embassy trip every embassy you know every embassy announce a max scholarship once in a year and um, it comes specially from you know uh, from April May and uh, these are the time durations for a uh, max scholarship through embassy trip and um, in this in this in this time period you can check the website of your home country embassy and uh, they soon they will announce the uh, admission soon they announce the scholarship for max uh, for japan you can apply for it and uh, requirements you know uh, your degree must be complete and um, you are you know you don't need to do an als als is not required for max scholarship and um, and you need to write the uh, your plans you know uh, the inform you can see three three main questions are, are given to you why you are going to apply for it and what is your future plan and uh, these things should be uh, you know written in a very realistic way rather than saying in a hypothetical way and uh, these will things will going to be defines you and um, you don't need to any uh, you you don't need to do, uh, have a publish any paper for it just you can write about yourself uh, your study plan and your personal statement these things are going to be counted for undergraduate programs and um, and uh, you know uh, if, uh, if when you are selected for the embassy trip then your next process will be uh, do by the embassy and they will guide you what to do next but first thing is that you need to apply for embassy trip and uh, just submit your forms and uh, wait for interview and uh, they, they are going for a uh, you know test simple very small test and uh, these things you, uh, they will if you if they feel that you are qualified for test and interview you will get an uh, email and uh, and they uh, have said that you know embassy track is little very competitive and uh, then university track because embassy uh, there is the my might be less number of seats it might it, it gives the uh, it increase the competition and um, and uh, uh, you can uh, apply if you you if you don't think that you know if you couldn't able to get a uh, max scholarship for embassy track you can go for university track and uh, uh, later on uh, after embassy track it follows the university track and uh, i'm going to tell you that how you can apply